Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm talking about random topics relating to books, TV shows, and movies. So if you guys watched my future of my channel video you guys know that I wanted to start a new series where I talk about things relating to TV shows, movies, and books and like news about things that I want to talk about that I'm excited about or that I have mixed feelings on that I want to share so for right now I'm calling this on topic but I might change the title later on I don't really know what to call this new series I will link everything that I talk about down below like all of the uh, articles and everything will be linked down below as well as timestamps between each section so I will first start with books and then TV shows and then movie news and then like other maybe like music news or other random things yeah I am so 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 excited so the first topic is going to be about books and I have about like four or five things that I want to quickly talk about so let's do this so this news is kind of old already but Jennifer L. Armentrout did announce uh, the Darkest Star, which I think she announced it like maybe at the end of last year, but there's now a cover and we have a synopsis and stuff. I'm super excited because this is the dive back into the Lux world, which I am so excited about. I loved Damon and Katie and I am just so excited to go back into this world. This one is about Luke and I'm just I'm so thrilled like I can't wait Jennifer also did say that some characters would make appearances which is super exciting and oh, I just can't wait like it's been I feel like a real long time since I've been really excited for like a YA series and this one comes out in October October 30th um, but oh, I'm just I'm so excited and she also announced another book which is called Beneath the Skin and um, this is actually a spin-off of the Dark Element series so this is actually going to be about Zane um, and his story I guess I don't know if this is a standalone or like a series but um, this is what she wrote. So I'm so excited to announce that I have a new YA book coming out in September 2019. I've hinted about this book. Um, there's a few typos in here. You're going to recognize quite a few characters. One of them turns into stone. Another likes to hum Paradise City. Yep, I'm going back into the world of the dark elements. Oh, the book is called Beneath the Skin. Well, it can be read as a standalone. You'll definitely have a lot of time to get caught up before getting to know Zane on a whole different level. And yes, you'll see Roth and Layla and Bambi. So yeah, this comes out in the summer of next year, which I'm, I'm just super excited. I can't believe she's doing all these spinoffs. Like it's so great, um, especially because I also love the Dark Element series. So I can't wait for this one. I think this one's gonna be great. If you watched my Nope book tag, you know that I didn't really like Zane and I didn't think he was a good love interest. However, I do think um, I will like his book because I just think it'll be better to get to know him in like his own book, you know? And I'm just excited. I think this is great. I can't wait. Sylvain Bernard is writing a fourth Gabriel Inferno's book, which I'm so excited about. And I feel like no one knows about this, which is just crazy because he's been tweeting about it and I will link the, some of the tweets down below. He is writing a fourth book which is so exciting. At first I think it was going to be a novella and then he changed his mind um, that it's going to be like more of a novel which I'm so excited about. I read, I reread the books last year so I have a feeling this one's going to be self-published but either way I'm thrilled. I can't wait to get more of Gabriel and Julia so I'm really excited for this one. Can we count how many times I say excited in this video? Probably way too many. And I imagine uh, the fourth book will come out probably in 2019, I imagine. But who knows? I mean, if it's self-published, it could come out at any time, so. But I think he's currently in the middle of writing it, so. Sawyer Bennett has a new hockey series uh, that I am thrilled to, like, I'm very thrilled about. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, the first book is called Bishop, and it's going to be the Arizona Vengeance series. 
I didn't know if this was the end of the Cold Fury Hockey series, but it actually is. I think she tweeted or made a blog post or something that um, the Cold Fury Hockey series is actually over now, which I didn't know if it was, and I feel like the last book was kind of a disappointment to be the last book. Like, why? I feel like she should have done a little bit more of a grander thing to finish that series, but I guess not. Um, but it is the end, so that's really, really sad. However, this new series um, I'm really excited about because I love her hockey romances. I think they're fantastic and really great and well researched and developed. I just think they're awesome. And oh yeah, this is what she put on her website. Oh yeah, so Bishop is releasing August 14th and yada yada yada. Okay, get ready for some crossover. The greatest thing about having two hockey teams face-to-face -face time on the ice. Plus you never know, maybe we'll see some trades down the road. So I guess some um, Cold Fury Hockey characters will make it into this new series, which just made my day because I was kind of sad that there's no more Cold Fury Hockey books. Oh wait. While no new, new Cold Fury books are on the calendar, I have not ruled out writing additional books in the series. In a perfect hockey-filled world, we would see both. We would see releases in both series. Okay, never mind. I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm fine now. Okay, so that's exciting. But I am excited for a new series. I am really curious to get to know a new hockey team. This is great. I'm excited. And the last book related thing that I wanted to talk, to talk about is the trademark drama that's happening. Um, so if you weren't familiar, I talked about it briefly in my new releases video. So um, if you aren't familiar, there's an author out there, a romance author, who is trying to trademark the word cocky, and what, which means other authors who have similar titles with like cocky in it could have to like take their book down off of Amazon or something like they would face like legal problems. Some of the romance authors in the community decided to group together and write an anthology called Cocktails which is basically short stories like little novellas and there's over, over 40 authors in this. Basically all of the money that they make off of Cocktails will actually be donated to help other authors who are battling with this, but also um, I think other organizations within the romance community. Cause is really, really great and I highly recommend that you support um, some romance authors and buy this anthology um, because it is only available from May 26th to August 26th, I think. Yes. And you can buy it on Amazon, you can buy it on your ebook or a physical copy. I will link the article relating to the whole trademark thing. Yeah, I just, I really hope that this gets resolved soon and that it doesn't happen because that is a big deal and it affects a lot of authors who have the word cocky in their book titles. Yeah, I, I just go buy this novella and support them and talk about it. Alright, next things are TV shows. So the first obvious one is about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I never talked about it yet because I had like my hiatus when all the drama was happening. But anyways, if you didn't know, Brooklyn Nine-Nine was cancelled by Fox and then renewed by NBC. <laughs> and that was literally a roller coaster of like 48 hours. Like I, I'm going to start crying about it now, but I found out that it was cancelled at work. I was on my break and I looked on Twitter and the news like dropped right then and there and I was like, Oh my god and I actually was starting to cry at work like I was so devastated and I was so heartbroken like I I came home after work and I literally cried I want to cry right now I cried so much like this is my favorite show of all time and I was like devastated that it was canceled and that like we wouldn't get any more episodes like I was just I was heartbroken and then the day after at night. I was actually watching Fifty Shades Freed. I was re-watching it and I didn't check my phone for like the entire movie because I was re-watching it and I checked it after and I saw that it was renewed by NBC and I then started crying tears of happiness because I was just so ecstatic. 
I was just so excited. Like, I couldn't believe that NBC decided to renew Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I had a feeling they would because um, they were quite close with Andy Samberg when he was on SNL, because SNL was on NBC. I feel like that was the one place that it could possibly happen. Plus, I mean, NBC has like great comedies, so I don't know why Brooklyn Nine-Nine was even on Fox. I just have to say this about Fox, is that they are horrible with promoting their own shows. Like, they never promote their shows. I never see commercials for anything. I barely see adverts for Brooklyn Nine-Nine, like, ever. Even, like, every week, like, usually they'll have a preview for, like, what's happening next week. I never saw any of those, like, ever. Um, and even, like, I never see adver advertisements for New Girl, and that's, like, ending. I didn't even know. Like, I... I don't watch it, but I just feel like Fox has always been horrible with promoting their shows um, and stuff. Like, they just don't promote them. It's so weird. I'm so excited for Brooklyn Nine-Nine to be on NBC. So the sixth season? Yes, the sixth season. I can't say that. The sixth season will premiere on NBC. I'm imagining it'll be fall of 2019, uh, which I don't care about. I don't care how long I have to wait for new episodes as long as I get new episodes, you know? I'm really excited and ugh, it was just such a roller coaster. I like literally could not handle it. I was crying like for two days <laughs> of sadness and then happiness. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Another TV show related thing is You by Carolyn Kepnes, which I did a trailer reaction for. It's actually going to be on Netflix. So um, it's originally going to premiere on Lifetime and I have a feeling it's going to like have... Um, weekly episodes on Lifetime. Same with on Netflix. I feel like it's going to maybe air a day or two after it premieres on Lifetime. Does that make sense? Are you following me here? So yeah, it's probably going to be on Netflix in September, which is really cool. I'm probably going to watch it on Netflix. So um, that's great. That's an awesome thing. The Thing About Love by Julie James is possibly becoming a TV show, which is really exciting. Um, she tweeted, here's some news I'm excited to share. My book, The Thing About Love, has been optioned by CBS Studios and is in, is in development as a TV series with Tribeca Productions attached to produce. So this is highly probable that this is going to be a TV show. Like it has very high people, high networks um, attached to this. So I need to buy the book ASAP. I know it's on Book Outlet. So go by it there and I'm sure I'm going to do some um, casting thing whenever I read it like if they announce casting I'll probably react and trailers and all that kind of stuff uh, if I really really like the book and stuff but yeah I need to buy a copy soon let me know if you've read this book did you like the book are you excited about the TV show I don't know this is really exciting two other things I wanted to mention that I didn't really know about so um, the Affair, the fourth season, is premiering on June 17th. I don't know if this video is going up before that or not. Um, but I, I barely remembered that season four was happening. <laughs> so I have to I have to remember that it's June 17th, the fourth season is starting, which I'm really excited about. Last season was great. Um, so I'm really excited to see where they take it in this new season. Also, season two of Luke Cage is premiering June 22nd, which I had no idea about. I feel like no one's talking about the second season of it coming out. I don't know. But I'm behind on like three Marvel shows. I have to I have to watch The Punisher and the second season of Jessica Jones. And then I can watch Luke Cage. I, I literally need to marathon a bunch of Marvel shows on Netflix. I'm so behind. But uh, I'm excited for the second season. Now, movie related news. So, Roomies by Christina Lauren is becoming a movie, which is super exciting. I'm actually kind of scared about it, but I am kind of excited. So, we'll see how that's going to be. Andy Fickman will direct and produce. And uh, Jenna, I always say her last name wrong. Do you want? Jenna, Jenna Dewan? Do, do you want? I never say it. Her company is developing this uh, movie which is very 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 exciting so I don't know how I feel about them making this a movie I am excited but also I'm very hesitant because I love this book um, and I have faith 
faith that they could do a really good job. Like, I could see this as a movie. I think it'd make a great movie. I just really hope they do it justice. Uh, I'm also very curious who will play the main characters. I will probably also do a casting video slash like doing a trailer reaction at some point whenever it becomes a movie um, and all that jazz. I will probably do updates about it as well uh, because I did love this, this book and I want to keep everybody informed about it as well as myself. So that's an interesting development. Also, After by Anna Todd is becoming a movie, which I did a whole casting slash movie details video, which I will link it down below so you can check out who is playing Hardin and Tessa and learn more about the movie itself. Uh, I'm super excited for this one, like very excited. I love the casting and I just have faith that this is going to be a really, really good movie and I'm ecstatic about it. So I'll link that video down below. And my last topic is about one of my favorite actresses of all time. I talked about her in my last TV show and movie wrap up. Um, she was in the show Vera. That is Jemima West. And I talked about in that video how I wanted her to be in like a new movie or like have a new project because I like miss seeing her face in new things. And she actually has a new movie coming out. And I just finished filming. It's called The Unfamiliar. And it's about a British army doctor comes back from the war and suffers from uh, PTSD and um, sh I think she's just trying to deal with that and stuff and she is the main character and I'm just I'm so excited for this I can't wait it is produced by uh, Dark Matter Studios which is a UK um, film production company and yeah, I don't really know much about it, but I have been following some of the um, cast and like people attached to the movie on Instagram and they posted a lot of stories and um, behind the scenes and stuff. So it makes me much more excited for this movie. I have no idea when it's going to premiere or anything. Probably, um, it does say in 2019, but I don't know like if it's going to be like a wide release in the UK or like what it's going to be, but I will try to watch it any way that I can. And I'm so excited for this because I love Jemima and I can't wait um, for her to be, to have more projects and to be more things. I'm super excited. So those are all the topics that I wanted to talk about today. I have a lot more for next time. I will do these probably once a month and I'm super excited. Let me know um, some things that you're excited for. They don't have to be any of these things. You can just let me know other random things that you're excited for and yeah I hope you guys liked this first episode make sure to give this video a like subscribe follow me on all my other social media and I will see you guys in my next one bye